you feel like your rat situation is worse than everyone else's, don't you? Well, it's not. Watch this video and we'll explain how we can get rid of your rats and that you are not alone. Yeah, 2021 and um, we didn't hear any noises. We thought it was our perfect place. But six months after I moved in here, I heard scratching in one of my walls. It went away and I didn't hear it for a while and then about six months later I heard it again. He could hear scratching behind his headboard in the wall. Late summer we just heard more and more noises. And we, they, we so sort of Caroline here is going to explain her problems that she's had with rats just like yours and it'll show you just how everyone has the same problems with rats. I want you to have a look at this first. Caroline was asking me, are they definitely in the sewer? Look at this Rick, look at this for horrible, horrible but amazing. We've popped this manhole up and look you can see right in there there's a footprint of a massive rat. Look, you imagine how big the footprint the rat is that's made that and you can see there's little footprints all in this poo here and the thing is how did that poo get there? Me and Ricky, what we reckon, isn't it, Rick? That's we reckon they, they stand. <laughs> that's some amazing f fungi there. <laughs> fungi. Oh, that's a rat dropping that it's growing on, look. Oh. I swear the, the cilia are moving around, look. Oh. Off, that, off those. But I think what happens, <laughs> we, we, we reckon, <laughs> Caroline, that what happens is the rat stands there, yeah. waits for a jobby to come through, <laughs> Right, and then it goes, oh, there's a nice one full of sweet corn. And it picks it up and it pulls it on there because there's no other way that that poo can get there. There's, no, there's, no, there's nothing from here that's sloshing up there. So it's pulling them up on there and eating the poo. That's disgusting, isn't it? That's some beautiful fungus though. Nature is beautiful. Tell, tell us some more. So you moved into this property, brand new. Dream home, usual thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, um... Oh, November um, 2021, two, three, yeah, 2021. And um, we didn't hear any noises. We thought it was our perfect place. And um, then my neighbor found a hole in the front of her property over there. And we never thought much of it, really. I just thought it was a bit odd. And then about six months later, we found a hole on our side. And where were they? They were here, weren't they? they were here. So these have been appearing. Right underneath the building, weren't they? Yeah, along where this, there's a water meter there. There's another water meter over there, and this was where the holes were appearing. And there's probably around a lintel. the water meter. Yeah, there's a lintel, and you could actually see it when, when the hole was exposed. You could actually see the fabric of the building yeah. because my neighbour said, "I don't think this is right. We shouldn't be seeing this." Absolutely, and you were kind of convinced, weren't you, like a lot of people, that the rats was outside getting yeah. underneath your building. Because I saw one on my patio, yeah. because there was a problem with the bins over there, the communal bins. Yeah, so, I should I have a look at that in a bit. I talked to the developer and said, you know, do something about these bins, please, because, you know, it's a rat problem. And he just said it wasn't his business to do that, yeah. just the management company, and to talk to them. Um, but what happened is, about six months after I moved in here, I heard scratching in one of my walls, and it was very low down. Yeah. And... Um, it was right next to my bifold doors and if I put my ear in to the wall I could hear oh, more. Uh, I told my husband and he said to me, you're imagining it, you're imagining it, you know. <laughs> Women always know guys, he Women, always, listen to your wife, me. listen to your wife, they always know. <laughs> um, he absolutely didn't believe me and, and I never thought much of it because it t kind of went away and I didn't hear it for a while and then about six months later I heard it again and then my son told me in his bedroom which was to the left, well it was above the bifolds around the area he could hear scratching behind his headboard in the wall so they'd obviously come up the cavity and they were scratching and scratching around and um, that's when my husband said oh maybe we should do something about this but we kind of sat on it hoping it would go away last year we about summer um, late summer we just heard more and more noises and we, they, we started hearing pitter pattering because I think when I look back I think that we heard these noises a long time ago, but my husband would say, did you hear that noise? And I'd say, mm -hmm. it's just the fridge. It's just settling, like, yeah. like, 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 the, like the people who built the buildings. These holes allegedly was appearing because the building was settling down still four years on, like, you know, yeah. and it's like, no, but no. We just thought of things like the fridge, because the fridge makes funny noises, yeah. you know, when, it, when it's turning on and off and things like that, and it's built in, and, or it was just like, you know, it was a pipe clanking, all these kind of things. And when I look back, I realise it was obviously creatures, because in the last, like, um, let me think, six months, we've heard actually 
pitter pattering, ah. very gentle, and the ceiling above where the kitchen is. It's a nice part of the world here. They're posh rats, posh rats then, down here. And then we started <laughs> hearing, like in in autumn, we started hearing a lot of heavy running, and we started hearing noises in the walls and all over the the ground floor. And um, also, we started hearing really tearing of wood. Or it sounded like wood. Yeah. Uh, the last pest controller said it was just a bit of insulation they would be tearing up. But it honestly sounds like they're gnawing on the wooden parts of the, of the building, the fabric of the building. I really don't know. Um, and there's a lot of running around and now there's squeaking. And how many pest crazy. control companies have you had out? Uh, actually, we've only had one. Just the one? Just, just the, the one. one. Because I put it, put it off because I used to live up the road and we had about two different pest companies out and they never got to the bottom of these rats, but they said they were in the sewers. Yeah. But because we live near the countryside, you know, I kind yeah. of thought, oh, we have to expect it. Yeah. But I didn't expect it to sort of increase. And it actually started increasing once the first pest... Once the pest controller yeah. came, I heard more noise here and it didn't go away. And he said, oh, it gets worse before it gets better. Yeah. But it never got better. It just got worse, you know. Now, what we might find, because if you're hearing squeaking, so th is there any poison up there at the moment? No, there's nothing. No. Nobody put well, that's good because there. right there, there's a massive kite keeps flying around. It's oh, just gone behind that them. shop. Yeah, these are famous in this area, red kites. Yeah. Very and of course, famous. what are they eating? They, they're going to be eating things like half-dead rats. We don't want that. We poison. don't want it. Because Absolutely. you know what? There are owls. There's like an owl that hoots around here at about four or five o'clock in the afternoon over there. Yeah. So I don't want to poison anything because, you know, that's their food. Do you know what? Something I found out a few years ago. You know when you hear owls and they go twit twoo, yeah. right? It's two owls. One of them, I think the, fe the female, she goes twit and the other one goes twoo. Oh, so, it's like a so perhaps that's where, they, the, where the yeah. word twit comes from in the English language, because the woman <laughs> says twit, and he goes, true, true. It's true, man. Look it up. Yeah. Look at them all here. Look at this, Rick. There's, know, there's about seven or eight of them. There's a farm all circling down the road, up. and it's a duck farm. Uh -huh. and, they, and at Christmas, they sell ducks and turkeys, and you see a lot of them over there as well, and they all come here. And these red kite are very famous in this area. Yeah. This is only one of a couple of places in England, maybe They were nearly Scotland, extinct, weren't they? Got, yeah. Where you've got the red kite, yeah. yeah. Very famous. That's amazing. That's amazing. Um, so we want to look after them. We want to look after Caroline. Yeah. How are we going to do it? We're going to get our camera and we're going to get down these pipes and we're going to have a look. So just remember that, that if you've got... It's a shame because the, the developers have come out and thought they've done us a favour and they haven't because I wanted to show you these. I think if you've got some photos, you yeah, can send them. We'll put that on the video. I'll send them. We'll, we'll put that on here. And I told them not to fill these holes yeah. and they came and they, <laughs> they filled, filled them up. After they lifted my manhole because we couldn't yeah. lift it, this was... I asked them before Christmas. They didn't come until after Christmas to lift it. And um, then I said, do not fill these holes in. And they came and they brought a bag of stones and topsoil and they did the holes. So they have actually put stones in there as well. Then. I've got ring you video see. evidence of them doing it. All right. OK. Yes. Well, at least they've put gravel in there. Hopefully it will be the well, small pea shingle because if it's over the 10 mil size, rats can dig through that. When it's the small pea shingle, they it can. falls back in the hole. You oh, see, okay. so, right, so that's yeah. the theory. But that only works if the rats are out here and they're getting in like that. And as right. we kind of already know, because you also had a rather helpful person in this whole scenario to prove that I was right. Because what he did, he had one of these electronic traps. In fact, we'll do a video on those because we've got a few that have been sent to us uh, at a later date. But there's only one way in and one way out. And what he did, he put the electronic trap in the hole, filled around the hole, and then... A couple of days later, checked it, and there was a dead rat inside. So what does that tell us? It tells us that the rats were inside the building and coming out, not from the outside of the yeah. building going in. So it was like a nice little thing. Well, you, I, you was already convinced, weren't you, Caroline? Yeah, there was, they never touched any of the bait. They put bait... Um, so they put bait in there and in the side one and nothing touched it. They couldn't lift that cover so they never baited it. And they said bothered. it didn't matter that they didn't bait it or look at it. Yeah. Um, and in here they put that trap but nothing touched the bait either, absolutely nothing. But they obviously were finding yeah. rich pickings absolutely. down there. <laughs> absolutely. Right, let's crack on Rick, let's get the cameras, get them in. Because it's a bit cold again today. Uh, we was froze yesterday, we was froze. It was, it was pretty awful. We were out with the, the Daily Mirror yesterday. 
and they were doing doing a bit of a feature with us as well yeah so hopefully that's going to help get the word out uh that's going to be another video in fact it might come out before this one so i don't know how that's going to work with all the continuity on that rick you can struggle with that right let's uh let's get the cameras and get cracking on and as soon as we find something we'll give you a shout and show you what we've found and, and quite often people again think that rats are coming from outside and getting in when they've got like on modern buildings like this they've usually got the uh the orange plastic air bricks and people think that the rats have chewed through and gone through it because there's a lovely rat hole in there but what I would say to people is actually have a look. Where are the chew marks? Where is all the plastic that they've chewed up? It's inside. You know why? Because they've come from inside the building and come out, mm -hmm. not the other way. Yeah, okay. right. Let's work this one out. Oh, this has been a real head scratcher. We think we've come up with a fix that's going to sort this problem out. But if our fix doesn't sort this problem out, it's going to be a job for the local water authorities. On this road, it gets even more complicated because it's a private road as well. So I don't even know who's got to foot the bill. It's bound to be you. <laughs> it's never the water authorities bill, but take a look at this, what we found. So this is a really, really strange thing to be happening here on the, because usually they'll be going up the pipes. <laughs> They're actually going on the outside of the pipes. This one, this one, and this one. Okay, so if you look here, they've got all this, all this shingle that goes around the pipes. You can see all the footprints on the top look. Then the rats get up here, and then they've burrowed. And what they're actually doing on this one is they're going around. In fact, I'll stand up a bit because I might be a bit echoey in there. What they're doing is they're going on the outside of the pipe and they're following the pipes around and they're going around and they're going to the manhole, the small plastic type manhole that you might have. And they're actually going around the manhole and then they're getting on the other sides of that pipe and they're going three points into the house underneath the lintels where the pipes go. But on this one, they're actually going on the outside of the pipe from here all the way over there. It's crazy, man. But that's how the rats are getting from here to our customer's house. So the water authorities, basically their job is to come out and block all these holes up and that should be problem solved. Tell me, do you have a rat problem that no one can seem to get rid of? Do the rats keep coming back? Do people keep coming out, putting poison down? If so, perhaps you should watch this playlist here about all the other rat-free lifetime guarantees we do. Or you might want to go straight in and get a rat-free lifetime guarantee. Here's the link for that and that'll take you there. I hope you really enjoyed the video. Caroline is now rat free and she's rat free forever. Why don't you copy what Caroline did and get a rat free lifetime guarantee?